Hello everyone, Christopher here with McWayne Science Center, and welcome to SciSparks. What does it take to send an ordinary pencil through a wooden board? Today, we're going to find out. If I want to get this pencil through this board, it's going to take a lot of force. Luckily, thanks to Isaac Newton and his second law of motion, we know that force is just the product of mass and acceleration. Think about it. It's easy to take a ping pong ball at rest and quickly get it moving, but the more mass something has, the more force it takes. The same is true on the other end. The more mass something has, the harder it is to stop it moving. That's why a dropped tennis ball is easily stopped by the board, but a bowling ball falling at the same speed goes right through. The bowling ball has more mass, and force is mass times acceleration. But what about acceleration? Sure, massive objects like a boulder will do damage even at low speeds, and yet Arrows and BBs are designed to pack a punch, and they're relatively lightweight. Well, turns out light objects can deliver just as much force as heavier objects. It just takes a lot more acceleration. And that's where this comes in. This is McWayne's patented state-of-the-art pencil launcher. Pencil already in the chamber connected to an air compressor loaded to over 100 PSI, aimed directly at our target. That's a lot of power for a little pencil. Here we go. In three, two, one. So what's the lesson here? That we should be more afraid of pencils? Well, maybe, if they're moving fast enough. Because while there might not be pencil launchers lurking around every corner, hurricanes and tornadoes have been known to hurl lightweight debris up to 400 miles per hour, far faster than in our experiment. So the next time you're told to shelter in place, you better listen, because it might be time to sweat the small stuff. Well. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by leaving us a like. And to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe or visit us at mcwayne.org. Until next time, bye.